where he actually gets affected by it. Oh my god! Did you guys see that counterattack? That was sick as fuck. I'm not even mad. Hey, yo, what is up, knights? Aegis Rick here, and we are currently on my Elven Knight class, and I'm going to be doing some tower runs of some things that I haven't shown off before. In fact, I don't think I've shown off a single tower run yet. But before we go into there, we're going to be jumping into the Tower of Despair, which I will explain as we get in there what's going to be happening. But guys, I want to showcase my gear right now. I'm really decked out. I spent a lot of gold, uh... Basically, because this is my main character, I didn't mind spending gold on legacy sets right now. I have my 55, 60 leg leg uh, Holy Titanium legacy set. I get uh, attack speed, cast speed when I go in dungeons, a bunch of extra effects. It's really nice, so um, you guys can check the, that effect out. Uh, plus 9 to everything except the chest because I ran out of gold. This is about all I have left, so um, I am running the greedy accessories right now. Which scale with your level, that's why it's so useful. I'm level 63, so um, I'm not as strong as I could be yet. Uh, the Dragon Great Sword, obviously, plus 10, that's really nice. So, uh, uh, I don't know about the title, I don't really care for it right now, but... Alrighty, guys. Post-commentary, Rick, gotta come in here and explain what happened. Uh, I did this recording of the Altar of Ascension after I did my Tower of Despair run. I didn't expect to do very well, and lo and behold, I actually cleared the damn thing. So, um... Decided that I'm going to show the Tower of Despair run in another video, maybe one before this one. And then I'll show you guys the awesome lucky run I had, so enjoy. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to play through it because they're the same APCs every time. And we're going to be using some combos here. And it's just a matter of what path you take to actually get to the final boss or, you know, the final region. I've never actually completed this, so uh, it's still difficult, but... Um, you know, you kind of learn against what APCs you're fighting against and stuff. So some things that work well against them, or what path you should take personally is what's probably most efficient or most important to me. I'm going to take this upwards path, it's the hard path. Uh, I could fight against either this sniping guy, or, uh, and get away from him. Oh, wait. Get, yeah, he drops the bombs, man. You don't want to fuck with him when he does that, but I okay, found him again. Um,. Whoa. Whoa, get out of there. Get out. Oh, he, he dropped the bomb again. Get down. He's over here. I saw him. Okay. It's hard for me to explain what's going on. I'm sorry. I didn't hit him. Oh, shit. Okay, he's still there. He's still there. Okay, I got interrupted. Ooh, watch the bomb. Watch the bomb. Okay, there he is again. So you guys see he's like respawning in different locations. Okay, that was a good hit right there. Yeah, I still saw him. Uh, if you, he hides after every time the cooldown runs out right there, so uh, goes into the sniping stance. If you can get him out of sniping stance, he'll stop, obviously, and give you a second to combo him. Get out of there. Oh, shit, I died. Right there, it's kind of like practice on the the combos, the, the chain rush right there. Okay, uh, I want to fight the this guy. So I'm kind of taking paths. You can take they're the same APCs every time. So I mean, like I said, you, you can kind of design a path that's easiest for the character that you're playing currently. Uh, personally, I think these guys are relatively easy with what I'm doing. Um, I've only died technically one time, but. Haven't used a continue now. This this dungeon um, has a maximum uh, resurrection rate of th of seven. Uh, it's for the whole party though, so usually you know you want to go in here with the party. You don't want to do this so well, but you know I'm being stubborn here. Also, I have no friends. So. Get this grab off and nice chain right here, and this one too. Oh shit! Okay, well oh, that grab. Thank you, uh, Ice Tiger. Usually you're really annoying. Oh, uh, that would have been game over with this guy. Okay. Uh, next guy we want to take. I think Javelin Yom. I haven't tried him out before. I tried out the guy before, uh, the, heart, the other guy, but we'll try this guy out before. I haven't seen him. 
Oh shit, this might be, this might have been a mistake. I haven't fought this guy before, but you know, new experiences. We'll see which one's harder or not. Okay, these these boomerangs are gonna be a serious fucking problem. If they, they, they don't leave, apparently. They're just gonna interrupt my combos all day. Maybe use an evasive or something to get out, and I'm dead. So you guys see right here, seven lives. These are with the Simone coin uh, that you get every day or four. So might as well use it. I also got interrupted during that uh, my chain rush buff skill. So boy, did I fuck that up. Uh, I need my chain rush to do some damage. So I guess I can poke like I was in the other dungeon, the Tower of Despair. But that's no good against this guy. Come on. Let's use a full charge on the Harbinger of Life. Yeah, nice. That's what I'm talking about. And give me a little cast on that buff, man. I need that. Okay, there you go. Let's also use this and some super armor so we don't get our chain rush canceled. And oh shit! Well, I missed with all the good skills, and uh, my chain rush is already, or super armor is already canceled. So I don't think this one was easier than the one, I, the alternative path. But uh, this time, guys, let's go to the Dark Soul. I think we should be able to take out the Dark Soul. And this is one that I have fought before, so... I'm sorry uh, if I'm not really explaining very well. These APCs are still quite difficult. So I need to concentrate a little bit. Especially on the chain rush. As you guys can see, I've gotten faster on the chain rushes with... Oh, shit. I'm gonna keep this chain going. Oh, fuck. Wow, okay. Let's get our super armor going again. I miss with that. Oh man, that'd have been nice. I'm going too quick. I'm going too quick with my chain rush, and this is guaranteed gonna hit me, so. And there you go. So I'm dead again. That's a really nice thing about the the Elven Knight passive is that same thing with the chaos is that you can technically take fatal damage and then get revived for like 30% again. So it's a really kind of a great skill to have. Honestly. And we killed him. Let's go to Neil this time. I don't know who. I I don't know any of the uh, APCs from this far out, guys. So oh shit, he's gonna slam my face, isn't he? I've seen him do the combos in the other dungeon though. Ooh, okay. Um, apparently I'm not doing any damage. So I gotta kill Pan, I guess. And I did I get hit in the jaw or something? What? I don't know what's this these guys' gimmick, but they told me it was easy. Ooh, okay. Already at pretty low HP. Also, MP is an issue too. Uh, you can use potions, so there's I don't know how effective they are in here, honestly. Everything's all scaled a little bit differently, so. Worth the circuit, you're. Okay, I missed again. I don't know the gimmick, man. I really don't. Okay, obviously I can't hit Pan. Can I hit the big guy? Okay, so I can't hit the big guy. Oh, it's like I have to alternate between who I hit, I think. Okay. Or something like that. I still don't understand. Okay, let's just get both of them. Yeah, I think it's alternating between who I can hit. Ooh, okay. Luckily for me, they both are not doing too much damage to me, but... Okay, every time I try to attack Pan, he just counterattacks me. And then Neil just... Sometimes he doesn't take damage at all, so I don't, I don't know his story. Okay, there you go. I don't know if it has to be like a knockdown move or... Like the the little guy does not get knocked down at all. He just he just counterattacks all day. Okay. You know, I can, I can run around and do this. Okay, that move doesn't do shit to him. It has to be like a knockdown move, I think. Which is only a few moves that I have. How am I still not dead, by the way? Like, even that's not working. Uh, what? That is, and that is... So yeah, I don't know. It has to be like a hard hard enough hitting move where he actually gets affected by it. Oh my god! Did you guys see that counter attack? That was sick as fuck. I'm not even mad. Okay, we have tons of lives. Hopefully, 
should be enough to handle Neil here. Yeah, sometimes the bull rush hits. She's our pulverize right there. Okay, we finally killed him. So now, now can we attack him? Like, what's what's this guy's just gimmick? I only hit him with that one move. Did you guys see that? The the slam down move. Oh, do I have to use commands? No. What the fuck is this guy's problem? Do I have to hit him with a counterattack? I can only hit him and juggle? I don't understand what this fucking guy's problem is. Ultimate? Oh my god, Tiger. You see, this is why the Tiger is so annoying sometimes. Post commentary Rick again. Guys, do you hear the music? This song that's playing in the Altar of Ascension is actually the song that plays in the Tower of Despair, but it's really slowed down. So you can see when I speed it back up, it's, it's the Tower of Despair music. Sick! Maybe if a move hits too hard, it won't work. And all of my moves hit too hard. Oh my god, I think it's... I think if a move I do is... It has to be below a certain threshold. Well, that's the problem. Like, all my moves hit hard. Oh, shit. Wait, do I have to... Maybe I take my weapon off? I think I figured this guy out. Okay. I th yeah, I think that's totally it. So, like, if... Oh, that's some bullshit, man. Okay. Um, if, you, if your damage exceeds a certain threshold, it's too much. It's too much for him to handle, so... So, uh, you gotta, you gotta tone your damage down. Oh my god, this is some backwards ass shit. Seriously, did not expect that to be the gimmick. Yeah, like, even my elven jump, which usually, you know, one-shots guys, does nothing against this guy. Oh, wow. Not to mention, he's super annoying. Did we get him? Oh, okay. That's nuts! Okay, no wonder. So the big guy only can only take damage bo above a certain threshold, it seemed. Like, I was hitting with all my big poking skills. And then this guy... Just gotta keep your damage below a threshold, so maybe take your weapon off and put it back on. Okay, learned. God, that was like... I am only hitting with one skill, I don't understand. Oh shit, here's the boss, guys. What do we do? Oh my god, what is his fucking gimmick? Get him, Tiger. He's healing like crazy, guys. Oh, fuck. Tap X to keep the gauge in the blue. I'm, I'm, I'm tapping! Oh my god! Instant kill? Oh, I'm dead. Okay, guys. I got four lives. I've got to beat this guy in four lives. This is going to be that bullshit if I do not succeed at this. I wish I would have gotten better chain rush, but... Okay, what is this? It seems like... Ooh, okay, I thought that was a grab move again. You just take massive damage while you're in here, though. Is there a way to disable that shit? Like, I can't fight him in that. Jump? Nope. Okay, tap X. Okay. I didn't take fatal damage, at least. Yeah, now I did. Unicorn? Where's my unicorn at, man? Shit! Oh, boy. Oh my god, I got my shit canceled. I'm doing enough bars every time I die. At least there's that going for me. Okay. 
Okay. Nope. Okay. I I was tapping X. I don't I don't know. There's fatal damage again. And it. Man. Okay. Two more lives. I think. I don't know. I can if I can do it, guys. I'm gonna rely on my good chain rushes right here. Gosh. Heal, heal. He's got three bars. He's got three bars. I'm looking good, guys. You can't dodge this move. I'm I don't, I'm tapping everything now. I don't tap X keep the gauge in blue. Uh, oh man, I was tapping everything so fast. Yeah, I'm dead. I needed to get that extra little bit of damage in there. Alright. Guys, this might be it. I might have I might beat this thing so. I did it! Oh my god! I did it! I beat this whole thing fucking solo! 15 minutes later! Oh man! I can't believe that, actually. I can't believe that all I got was like 2,000 gold for that shit. That guy was not easy. Also, I don't understand the tap thing, because I was tapping the fuck out of that X button, and it barely raised a bit. But, anyway guys, I did much better than I thought I would when we came into here. But this is the Tower of Ascension, as you guys can see. It doesn't have as high of a level limit as uh, the Tower of Despair. I think that one is only 65, and then it allows people going at level 55 now with the event, but... Even yet, uh, I don't think it's a dungeon that's designed to go solo, and I just did it. And I'm not trying to show off or anything. I just tried to go as far as I could, and lucky us that seven lives was enough to take us to the end. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There's my OP-geared uh, Elven Knight. Can't wait to get the next seven levels and then be killing people hella. I hardly even use my Awakening and all that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you knights later.